I am coming to you live again from Accra, Ghana. I am currently staying in a suburb called Kwabiena Pukase. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Um, nevertheless, I booked this particular Airbnb because I just finished a tour and I wanted to take two days to just unwind, um, you know, organize all my stuff, wash some clothes, you know, get all set up um, for the week ahead. So I just wanted to um, get on here and just say hello and to uh, talk a little bit about the Airbnb. Now, okay, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> No, it's cool. Um, it's located high in the mountain. Um, the roads, you know, when it says that the, the roads were in bad shape, that was an understatement. Um, the roads look, actually, they're very treacherous and it's very scary. And you have to make sure that your driver is knows what the heck they're doing in order to make it here. I'm telling you, it was scary. Nevertheless, I got here. Once I got here, the house itself is very, very nice. It has several rooms. Um, the one that I thought I was going to get was the one in the picture, and I did not get that one. They gave me a smaller room instead, but it's still cool. I still have access to all the amenities, and everything else looked, you know, pretty much as it was described in the Airbnb advertisement. So, you know, safe to say that it's, you know, it's decent enough to stay at. <laughs> Um, if I have had to choose it again, I would make sure that I would request the double room, which is the larger room with the one with the balcony. And, uh, yeah, that's what I would do, um, if I were going to come here again. But it's definitely quiet and peaceful out here, so it's a good place for me to be to write. I'm not distracted. I'm not going to get up and go hang out and <laughs> do anything strange. So I had grabbed some fruit and stuff before I came here, so I cut myself some up and I'll just be vegging it out for the next couple of days um, while I collect my thoughts and start writing again. And uh, that's about it. But otherwise, I'm having a great time here in Ghana. I love it. You guys are going to love it too. You got to come. You have to. And uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you later. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Hey guys. Here's my view. On the balcony of my Airbnb today. It's really gorgeous. Kind of hazy though. The sun's uh, doing this thing. Let's see all the houses on the hill. Okay, so remember those treacherous roads I was speaking of earlier? Here's a little bit of um, footage um, that shows uh, me leaving the Airbnb heading towards the main road. And you guys, uh, shout out to my iPhone stabilizer because as you can see, <laughs> the car is really shaking, <laughs> but the video footage is pretty smooth. So um, yeah, no, I'll list should, um, the stabilizer that I used in the in the um, video below. But yeah, I uh, it's really hard for you to even experience what I did because it looks so smooth. But trust me when I say that there were some severe potholes in the road, and uh, 
you know, the driver and I were just cracking up the whole way. Um, by the way, this was the second Uber that I called. A uh, shout out to Philip, the host, because um, my first Uber driver canceled um, when he got to the road. He wouldn't come up to the house to get me. <laughs> so I ordered a second Uber and then um, Philip, the host, spoke to him on the phone and explained to him what the situation would be. And he agreed to come get me anyway. So, yeah. Um, they really need to get this road fixed because the homes up there are so beautiful and you know there are a lot of them up there that are for rent and I just think that they would probably have a difficult time you know getting them rented um, if uh, people have to uh, you know risk tearing their cars up just to get to the house so um, again <laughs> enjoy the rest of this footage once once we got to the main road things were smooth sailing but um, it was really scary getting there. Um, but overall, the, the experience at the Airbnb was good. It does have air conditioning, which is another plus. Um, like I said, the views were spectacular. Had I had the double room, I would give it two thumbs up. But because I was giving given a smaller room that wasn't even listed, I'm going to give it one and a half thumbs up, <laughs> if that's the thing. All right, so again... Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to uh, um, putting together more videos for you guys.